Let's use ChatGPT to practice our constructed response for the Praxis Teaching Reading 5205, but you could do this for any writing test that you might be taking. Let's hop over to ChatGPT so I can show you how to do it. All right, so a couple of things that I did. I screenshotted and uploaded the sections of the study companion that show the constructed response portion for the 5205. I'm not going to show that here because it's their proprietary material, but just go into the study companion and screenshot the rubric and all in a sample essay. Then I said, based on the screenshots attached, the rubric in the screenshots and the below writing prompt, I got this writing prompt from chat GPT. I asked it for the writing prompt. Um, please evaluate my essay. And then I put it down here, my essay. So I've got screenshots of the actual study companion, some instructions on what to do, and then I have the actual writing prompt I'm going to be writing to, and then my essay, okay? And then we are going to put that in and see what it gives me. Okay, notice my essay is rather large. I mean, it's two full paragraphs, right? And it only gave me a score of one here. And then it tells me exactly why. And a couple of reasons why is that it was the wrong practice. It was a little bit vague. There weren't specifics, okay? And then it tells me why it's not a two or a three. Missing rationale, not clear. Surface level detail, it's not specific enough, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is take this information here and I'm gonna rewrite it and upload it again. Okay, so what I say here is, okay, thank you. I've revised it based on your feedback. Please evaluate the newly revised essay. And then I've got it here. I added a little bit. I was more specific. I did what it told me to do in its feedback. And we moved to a three, which is much, much better than a score of one. It's saying here that it's strong because both practices are reading specific, developmentally appropriate, and have clear benefits. It's actually attached to what the student needs. We have explicit phonics instruction, vocabulary front loading. These are specific details. They are specific, research line, and explicitly linked to the needs of the students. You can see that we improved greatly and I used AI to help me get here. So you don't have to ask somebody to grade your essay. You can give it to ChatGPT and ChatGPT with the rubric and the understanding of the test specifications through the study companion should be able to give you a pretty good analysis of your writing. So use these tools when studying for your Praxis exam.